I think that's one of the reasons that um, it's interesting for me to be here this weekend, because as Tim said, Carl sent this site to me as a potential time team. And one of the reasons that we didn't pursue it was because we didn't have enough information. It was an aerial photograph. I think, did we know even about surface finds at that point? I'm not sure we did. And as you described the SMR, it had a huge date range. Without an exercise like this, it's impossible for me to really be confident to take that site forward to, a, to a, make a program out of it. And as Tim said, part of the reason behind that is that, you know, Tim's been talking a lot about uh, how uh, this is an, an exercise in archaeological evaluation. That's true, but, and of course it's one of the wonderful things that Time Team is able to do. Effectively, we function as if we're a, a small professional unit, and we can do unique things that uh, people in the archaeological world can't do. For example, John does his geophys, we respond to those results immediately. Nobody else really is able to do that in, in the archaeological world, so it makes us unique. But, of course, the whole thing is driven by one of the outputs, if not the main output, being that we are making one hour of television. And there has to be a good story to tell. And as Tim will say repeatedly to me, there has to be something in the ground. What am I looking at in the trenches? What's the interesting story? So again, I think part of the problem with this site was that I couldn't get a grip on any story around it. So I think what I'm looking for this weekend is um, partly to bring a little bit of that uh, television side to it. And I should say as well, my background, um, I'm a, an archaeologist by training, uh, so you know my master's degree was in public archaeology. I was really interested in communicating the subject to all of you guys, really, to a wider interested public. So Time Team seemed like a perfect fit for that, and it is an exercise in public archaeology, so I'm certainly looking for some input from you guys into what is the story of this site. Uh, you know, we can answer Carl's question, what's the date? We can look at it from that archaeological perspective, but also... If you wanted to be told a story about this site, what do you find interesting about it? So I think, you know, I'm going to be floating around. You can, uh, you know, as I say, I'm an archaeologist. Uh, my title on the program is development producer. So I'm looking at it, yes, from an archaeological perspective, but I'd like to know what you find interesting. So I'll be floating around and talking to people, having a look at the evidence, thinking about it from a story perspective. One of the things that Jim sweats blood on every year is he's the guy who has to talk to all the official bodies. Mm. So he spends more time in offices talking to terribly serious people in suits from English heritage yes. and people like this, county archaeologists. And when we come to a site, and it's one of the things we made sure here, when Carl said, why don't you come and have a look, Carl had to check with his bosses that everybody was comfortable. And we live in a world where these people have to be talked to and, and made to feel reasonably happy.